Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight we're here to talk about Erin Williams trying to create her own mom talk. She is absolutely uh, trying to piggyback on the success of Taylor Frankie Paul and I had some thoughts. So allow this to be a reminder of sorts that Erin Williams is actually a terrible individual and we're going to talk about a few things. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so Erin Williams has created this TikTok page. Her username is Texas. She has 62.9 thousand followers as of my filming this video. Her videos get pretty low engagement, but what other, you know, what other way to boost your engagement than to copy somebody like Taylor Frankie Paul? I've covered Erin Williams for a very long time on my channel periodically. She is not someone that I cover on a consistent basis because frankly, I don't like her content and um, talking about her is somewhat boring. But in all fairness, if you are a terrible person and you are continuing to double down and excuse your uh, inappropriate behavior, then I will cover you. Now, on top of being a child exploiter, mommy vlogger of sorts, Erin Williams has a very terrible history, specifically on Big Brother, where I will include a few clips. Face it, Mito, she look like someone who's killed her chihuahua. Shut up, go make some rice. <laughs> Yo, that's rude. I've heard Aaron say some derogatory comments toward a couple people in the house in certain situations. Granted, it does affect me indirectly, but it's not directed toward me. I look probably like a squinty Asian right now. What if Andy end up, ends up getting MVP? No one's gonna vote for whoever <laughs> that queer puts up. I think Kansas is already on the dark side because she's already dark, so. <laughs> be careful what you say in the dark, might not be able to see the bitch. Yeah, probably dried rice, it looks like it. <laughs> bye bye. You want a crystal ball on your nail? It'll make you shine like the star in the sky. You look so pretty. You say you want long nail. I try and help you. Why well, you don't have boyfriend? It's because you don't want long nail. <laughs> it's only four dollars more. I'd say on top of Erin being a raging bitch, she makes comments that are completely inappropriate, where she makes fun of other people for what they look like and their ethnicity. Erin just said a racially derogatory remark to me today, but I just ignored her. So you heard the fish story, right? Why do the black ones stay on the bottom and the white ones go on the top? Is it segregated? But I want to tell you this so that you're mindful of it. I think that you're joking every time like any sort of like racial thing comes out of your mouth. Like, but I think the people who are a different race are taking it like offensively, like Howard and Candace and Helen. So um, I would say like from now on, be mindful. That's the most obnoxious, annoying thing I've ever heard. All I'm telling you is that people are hypersensitive, so just I wanted you to be aware of that. I'm not even going to acknowledge it because it's the biggest joke. Anyway, I appreciate you telling me that, but I really just think that it's, that is the most immature thing ever. They call me Barbie and all sorts of about me being blonde all the time, so I don't, what's the difference? I wish that I cared more about this, but I don't. She's not remorseful. She didn't want to apologize, and that just kind of shows her character. Ed, I didn't touch that bed. Who did it? To my surprise, my bed is flipped upside down, and all the pillows are on the floor, and my clothes are just everywhere. It was very hurtful. <laughs> I know somebody got one more time to flip my bed and it's gonna be all hell in this house. What you gonna do, girl? See the black what you gonna do? You. Do something. Do it right now. Oh, I'm not making do a fool of myself. Please. Well then don't that. talk. <laughs> and first of all, I wouldn't get in your bed anyway with all them craps. I'm happy you flipped it. Are you? Flip it again. What else? Hello. What's up, Howard? Just flip this bed so again good. and see what's going on. I came in here and they flipped the mattress and threw all the pillows on the floor. So do it again, Erin. What you gonna do, girl? What you gonna do, class girl? Where's your class? Howie. 
these people are all interchangeable. Candace, Monet, uh, freaking Libra, they all have the same personality. Annoying as shit, and people can't wait to get rid of them. They always put that person in there. And no, Julie, I'm sorry that I said that I hate Asian people, but it's just the way that I feel. <laughs> I never said I hated Asians. If I'm going to go out, at least it's at the hand of a white person. I'm not saying any of that because it's not true. <laughs> and the more that we joke about it, the more it becomes a real thing. The more it makes me actually hate Asians. <laughs> she has, um, you know, she has put out an apology for this, but since her Big Brother days, she has continued to be inappropriate, exploit her kids, mislead fans, get snarky with people that disagree with her, uh, call critics haters, and claim that when she's called out by numerous people at the same time, she calls that being attacked. She's one of those, if you understand what I'm saying here. I want to say I said some very insensitive and ignorant things uh, this summer, and I just want to apologize to both of you for that. Coming into the jury house, I wanted to try and make amends with the girls, and I wanted to apologize to them for some things that I said that are inexcusable and not who I am at all. Um, the game is, gets really stressful, and I feel really bad about some things that I've said and done, and I hope that you can get to know me outside of the game, and we can start a new relationship. Cheers. 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 I guess she has kind of run out of ideas on, hmm, what should I do next? I've kind of gone the outrageous route. I've gone the exploit my kids route. I have, uh, you know, tried to be this wholesome mommy vlogger. None of that worked. So let's go ahead and try to create a Texas mom talk. Now, if y'all are familiar with mom talk, you probably think of Taylor Frankie Paul and what she was doing in 2020. Now, I've had my thoughts about Taylor. I think that she has struggled with some very, very dark things. I do not agree with her posting her kids online, uh, but she has become very, very successful by the things that she has done. And I guess Erin thinks, let's just try to copy and paste this, but instead of it being uh, Mormon mom talk, let's do um, Christian mom talk in Texas instead of Utah. How unoriginal. How unoriginal. Now, there is some drama going on within this Texas mom talk group. Frankly, I don't really care about that. I think that it's entertaining enough on its own that she's trying to literally copy Taylor Frankie Paul to, um, I guess, kind of reinvent who she is on social media. But the things that people will remember Erin for on social media are the things that I listed before. And the fact that she has done things like spread misinformation about the pandemic, she has um, really just shown people exactly who she is by the words that come out of her own mouth. She's going so far to copy Taylor to the point where she's acting like she's old and over 50. That is exactly what Taylor did back in 2020, 2021. Like this is it's old, it's boring, it's unoriginal. And, you know, I can have my reservations about Taylor as a person and simultaneously say that this is cheap, boring content to piggyback off of what she did. Erin certainly has tried her hand at multiple different avenues of creating content remember that little reality series that she tried to do like she tried to make her own reality show i guess she thinks you know everything else has flopped so let's just copy what someone else has done and see how this works out the problem with erin williams is not oh she's cringy or oh she's copying something or whatever it's everything that she's done leading up to this point your digital footprint as a content creator speaks volumes and i am never here to say that you can't change your content style you can't change what kind of content you make because i think that is actually really interesting and if you have something that you're more interested in or 
you find a community that is more interested in this certain topic and you decide to kind of change the ways that you're making content, I respect that. I get it. But if you are being super just one of the worst types of influencers for years and now you want to come back and copy what someone else has done to try to revive your social media career it's giving unoriginal and pathetic I know that Aaron Williams is not a super popular person on my channel and I know that many other content creators that do commentary don't touch on Aaron Williams. I, I realize that this video is going to get low views. It will not be interesting to a lot of my audience. But Aaron Williams is in fact a terrible individual and the fact that she is trying to copy and paste something that Taylor Frankie Paul did is laughable. I find it laughable. And listen, I'm here to always say, I am not here for parents that exploit their children. Um, I find it inexcusable. If you are gonna make content, let's maybe not try to do such a direct copy and paste. And then people that are calling you out for your problematic history are labeled haters and you're like, oh, the haters are just going to boost our views. Here we go. We're over 50 and these are my daughters. Girl, please go back and create a new blueprint because this is dumb. But either way, those are my thoughts on Erin Williams. Um, as a complete side note, I've been watching this unfold on TikTok where Mama Todd is now being called out for allegedly misusing the funds that she collected to start a foundation for her son that lost his life. There is a lot out there. If y'all want a video on that, drop it down below. I haven't seen everything that has been posted but the things that i have seen posted are definitely questionable and it's giving first impressions it's giving scammy dishonest this might be really bad vibes but i'll wait to hear from y'all on that so for now if you like the video please leave a like and a comment and if you'd like to see more from me in the future please subscribe i'll see you guys soon bye